Today we're going to be making some modifications to the Robo Brew and having some issues with it and I'm going to replace the motherboard. There are known issues with the version 3 circuit board. I think overheating is generally the reason for it. Mine is definitely on the blink. Um, so basically I'm going to be fitting that and there's a new kind of, uh, I think this is the panel, the control panel on the front you have to replace it, doesn't work with it with this motherboard so let us do that now so I haven't actually done this before or even taken the back off so I've absolutely no idea um, what to expect here but um, so why not do it on camera so yeah I've been having some issues with it I've maybe mentioned this before I can't really remember but um, Specifically with the kind of the timers because the mash timer seems to It seems to now go to 33 hour mash and No matter how many times I change it to a one hour mash It just changes itself back to 33 hours again, which is a bit annoying The boil is the same the boil is now 66 hours for a boil Which is a real pain in the hole so I figure that there's other issues as well with a pump block and then just really kind of stuff that's been irking me for a while and I wanted to get like a new, I really wanted to get a new system to be honest to upgrade and I know what I want but um, I know what I want but that system doesn't yet exist so So I thought I'd, let's give this another go, get the circuit board sorted out, we shall try and get something sorted with a pump as well, I mean I, it, it's also had a habit of um, turning itself off um, at the plug, I think there might be something up with the plug, I'm going to have a look at that as well. And then every time you do that, the timer will reset itself. Every time you basically switch it off, it'll reset itself. So the, the board itself was like £50. So £50 is definitely cheaper than £1,000 for a system or whatever. Okay. Here we go. This is what's inside. That's kind of what we're looking at there. See the pump there. There's the old board. There's no visible signs of burning or anything like that. Not really that much to it. And there's obviously the panel in there. I'm going to need to take that out. Okay, so there is instructions. There was no, no written instructions. Like they were on a PDF. Because of the way this board's set up, it's slightly different. So on this it's like 1 to 9. They call it 1 to 9, but on this it's like 9 is in the middle. And it's like 9, 8, 5, 6, 7, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, something like that. So basically it says to put a bit of masking tape around it. And just number them before you do anything now. So that's what I'm going to do. And then number 9. Yeah, that is them all numbered. So let's start taking them out. I think we can take this out. That looks like it's. Yeah, it is. Just, just pretend you didn't say that. Right, get them out, there we go, and that's why you number them, because you don't know what's what now. Not sure how much you can see, probably nothing, but I'm basically taking off the, the panel behind the 
behind this kind of black plastic cover. There's the cover there. Screw still stuck on that one. Okay. All right, okay. So the board's just basically sitting there. So that's... Well, no, it's not actually, it's screwed in. A couple of may, tiny little screws. I can show you how you are. A couple of tiny, one screw there, one screw there, one screw there, one screw there. Let's get that off. Just cable tied onto the temperature probe, is that? Let's cut that. And there we go. That's the old one out. So I'll have to take it out of this case. Okay. And then there's the old one there. So you can see there, it's definitely this burn mark here. So it has been overheating, for sure. So I think that's a fault with all the version 3s, not the version 3.1. So if you have a version 3, then chances are this is going to happen to you at some point. Okay. Let's start with a new panel. Let's get it in here so it's obviously going like that, presumably. And then we do everything in reverse. And all this crap out. Me screwing stuff in. It's not the good screwing. As Georgie Bass would have said. What do you like to do, George? Says Terry Wogan. George says, I like screwing, Terry. I mean, the man got a liver, liver transplant and he still kept drinking. That's how strong the, the force was with him. Crazy. I think if you'd be given a second lease of life, you would actually take it rather than waste it. But, not the way. So we'll do green first. Green is fairly simple. One, two, three, four, inside the out. Just double check that. Because knowing me, I don't check. If I was ever Santa Claus, I made a list I would check once. I knew I would never do Santa, I would never do Santa again. Oh, I'd be fired. I'm not sure who would fire me. Who, who's Santa Claus's boss? Mrs. Claus? The elves? Easter Bunny. Basically what I'm saying is Christmas will be ruined. Forever. So yeah, it's just this one. Wherever this goes. Okay, I'm taking another look at this. Because it was doing my head in this little wire here that's not connected. When I saw where that wire was going, that's going to the heating element. So the heating element should be in this board somewhere. So I've had another look. And even though, I I mean, you watch me do it, right? So I'll watch the video back and see if I've done it wrong. But the one that's in there was the was a live wire, which is the blue one. And then when I look on the computer, on the instructions, I've got different instructions. And even on the board, you can see that the live wire is supposed to go into, that's for calm, live wires going in there. So I need to fit that in there. There's one extra one, which is going to the pump, I've realized. So, which is, the pump is down here. There should be a loose switch. Somewhere, loose wire. If I can find it. There's there. So that's going to the pump. 
So they need to power the pump. So presumably then the live wire and that is how we switch the pump on. So I think that would make more sense. It's not the earthen wire which I originally thought because the earthen wire is coming directly from here and it's going over here somewhere here. So yeah, I think we've we'll just wired it up wrong there to begin with. So let us wire this up now and then see if it works. Plug it in, see what happens. Whoa, it's on. Yes, you beauty. Okay, so I've put about 10 litres of water in there. I'm going to use it anyway at some point. So I'll just leave it in there. So let's get it on and see if everything works. I know it's not going to blow up, thankfully. Okay. Just went off again. Okay, on. Manual. Auto. Step 1, step 2, step 3, step 4, step 5, step 6. One thing that always used to annoy me about this is when you would be doing this, especially when you're setting the mash time, you're going to an hour and yet it will, as soon as it gets to like in the 50s, it'll just take off and you'll end up with three hours and it'll do the same the way down. You have to kind of press it in the back. That used to drive me up the wall. I mean, considering that everybody is going to be, mainly everybody's going to be setting it for an hour mash at some point. Okay, 500 watt, 1900 watt on, that'll bruise the logo on it. Okay, there's what it looks like there. That'll bruise the logo on it. It is on, and the two, two elements are on. This is really check the pump as well. And then is anything going on in here? It looks like yeah, we have activity. So let's get the pump on. Okay, so I've also got a word put on. So this is why I need the pump to not get clogged up all the time. Because I want to start word putting. So that will go in like that. So that's what I was trying to do before with the pump and with the siphon tube going around there but it's a lot harder to do it at the top than it is at the bottom. Okay that's in there now so pump on. Hear that yourself. Okay well that's it. It was it was a bit fiddly trying to get the trying to get the screws in and out. Especially on the base as well, trying to get that base in because they're screwed into the like little bendy bits of metal and it's just it's a bit of a wasn't easy. But yeah, if you're doing this, just check that the positions are in the right ones. And it's worth just knowing what it is you're plugging into. It says on the board and um, which is live wire and which is the, which is going to the heating element and also just understand what everything does. Um kind of when I looked at it on the computer I kinda knew what where where it went wrong so that was it happy homebrew wednesday hopefully that helps someone to choose another system See you later. so yeah the pump keeps getting gets get, the pump keeps Right, so the pump keep gets. <laughs> Gotta hang over, I'm gonna tell you. Let's just forget about that. We'll edit that bit out, don't worry. We've got most of this out. <laughs>